Hey there, I'm Sage Grayson, president and founder of Sage Grayson Coaching, where I help busy women make their lives a little sweeter. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the I deserve it mentality. Plus, I'll share three truths that will help you let go of entitlement and finally reach your goals. Let's go. When it comes to health and fitness, it's easy to come up with goals. I want to lose 20 pounds. I want to run a marathon. I want to fit back into my wedding gown. And maybe it's just as easy for us to find ways to sabotage ourselves. I found that the biggest obstacle preventing women from reaching their health and fitness goals is the I deserve it mentality. Now, the I deserve it mentality is this way of rationalizing cheating on your goals because you've earned it. Now, this can be going out and running three miles and then eating a huge slice of cake. Or maybe you'll work out really hard one day and then not exercise again for a week. If you think that the I deserve it mentality is keeping you from reaching your goals, I've got three truths that will help you get back on track. Truth number one, you don't deserve it. Now let's be honest here. You might think that by getting up early, driving yourself to the gym, and shaking your butt at Zumba gives you the right to go out to brunch with your girlfriends and eat anything you want. Wrong. <laughs> Studies show that we overestimate the number of calories that we burn during cardiovascular exercise. Not only that, we underestimate the number of calories we eat, especially when we're hungry, like after a hard workout. You don't deserve to eat back all of those calories that you just burned. And worse, you might be eating more calories than you burned, completely negating your workout. And then you'll be frustrated later when you don't see the results on the scale. Here's the truth. You don't deserve that reward. Save the desserts until after you reach your goal. By then, you might not be craving them anymore. Which brings me to truth number two. You will be happier if you exercise self-control. The I deserve it mentality is like a roller coaster of self-loathing. First you're up, then you're down, then you're up, then you're down. I mean, what a way to mess with your self-esteem. If you tough it out, and you stick to your plan of regular workouts and healthy eating, your happiness levels will shoot through the roof. Every time that you say no to something that doesn't support you, a bag of Oreos, sitting on the couch in your pajamas, that friend that always wants to go out for french fries, you strengthen your self-control. Now, self-control is just like your muscles. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. And soon you'll be feeling so positive from all of your good choices that the I deserve it mentality will lose its hold on you. Here's the truth. You will be happier if you exercise self-control. And I know something that will make you really happy. Let's move on to truth number three. You'll reach your goal faster if you let go of entitlement. When do you want to reach your goal? In a month? In a year? How about two years? The longer you give in to the I deserve it mentality, the longer you'll have to wait. Now, you may be thinking that you're working out so much harder than everyone else, and you're focusing on healthy food more than your friends have to. Well, you may be right. Our bodies are different, and somebody might reach their goal long before you reach yours. But by giving into that entitlement and feeling like the world owes you something, you're only pushing your goal further away. Here's the truth. You will reach your goal faster if you let go of entitlement. Be humble. Do the work. 
and you'll see the results. So those are three truths to help you get back on track and ditch the I deserve it mentality. How do you stay motivated when the going gets tough? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Remember, it's your life. <laughs> Make it sweet. Bye.